Hello, today we'll be looking at asymmetric skirts. Asymmetric is one which the um, left side or and the right side of your garment are not the same. In other words, you have to make a full pattern to create an asymmetric design. Whether you're doing it at the back of your garment or in the front, you have to create a full pattern pattern on like other designs where we can just make use of the half pattern. Now this is my front and back skirt. I'll be showing us the design in front only. Same thing applies to the back, whatever design you want to create. So now I'm just going to trace my front pattern, my half front pattern on another paper. So first you have to fold your paper into two like so and place the front pattern on the fold of the of the folded part, um, paper like so and then you trace so I'm just going to trace my pattern out like so I trace out the main level the hip level and the that then we cut out then after cutting out the label like we usually do so this is our knee our hem and the hip this is a straight skirt it's better you trace out your straight skirts before you start designing. So right now we have our full front pattern. The hip, the knee, and the hem. So I'm just going to rule out the darts. As said earlier, <clears throat> asymmetric had designs which are not of the same proportion on either side of your pattern that is on the left side and the right side you can go across you can draw your design across your pattern as you like like so so if you have to do a design like this you have to do your full front i don't know you might have seen some designs like this designs that go across your garments or pattern. Also, there might be some like this coming and passing through the end of your darts, and it go, can go like so. The essence of my design, this top style line, passing through the end of my darts, is that it will allow me close these darts. So if I cut from here yeah, through the point of the dart to the side of the of the skirt, the other side of the skirt, once this goes off, I'll be able to close this dart. I'll show us. So I'm just going to cut through this design. I only did that for illustration. And it's very important to always label your pieces when doing, when cutting your pattern into <clears throat> pieces so you know what goes back to where and <clears throat> so that you don't mix up your pattern. So now I can close, because my style line passed through the end of the dart, I'll be able to close this. So this side becomes dartless, like I've concealed the dart. And this is how you'll be able, this is how you're going to cut on your fabric 
with the dart closed, which means you don't have to hold the darts on your fabric anymore. But the other dart, you can either hold it like this or just measure what you have on the waist. Come here, measure it out, then take it out from the side. Depending on the client, depending on the style you're making. So you just blend it in. <clears throat> Excuse me. And take it out from the side. The same amount. And it won't affect the design. Because actually, if you, if you close this that, this goes in. So instead of you closing this that, you can take it out from the side. And you have a dartless upper part. Of your on the upper part of your design 